Hello developers, and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Keck Warren. As knowledge workers, we spend a lot of time managing windows on our computers. This can take up a lot of time during our day and can be compounded if we have large or multiple monitors. By using Rectangle, we can operate more effectively and in turn generate code faster. Rectangle is a free and open source application built by Ryan Hansen and distributed on rectangleapp.com. Rectangle allows us to manage our application windows by using keyboard shortcuts and mouse hotspots. Ryan also develops Hookshot, which is a utility based on Rectangle with some additional bells and whistles. At the time of this recording, there's a 10-day free trial and then it's $7.99 for a license. The big difference between the two appears to be the fact that we have better control over window placement using our mouse and Hookshot. This video will discuss Rectangle only, but if you want to support Ryan and the future development of Rectangle and Hookshot, you can purchase a copy through the website. For years, we've used Spectacle to manage our application windows. It was usually the second application installed on any new computer. Spectacle is no longer an active development, and Rectangle does everything Spectacle did and more, so we're recommending it now. We're mentioning Spectacle because there are references to it in Rectangle, and we wanted to give some background information on it for when we encounter those references. Installing Rectangle is a simple process. First step is to download the DMG file from rectangleapp.com and then to open it. Once the DMG has been verified and opened, it will open a new finder window so we can drag Rectangle into the applications directory. Now that we've installed the application, we're going to launch it for the first time. The first thing we need to do is to allow Rectangle to control our computer in the Accessibility section of the Privacy tab in the System Preferences. Rectangle will prompt us and bring us to the correct screen. It's very important to do this because without Rectangle being checked in this Preference pane, Rectangle will not work. After this has been done, we'll get a question about shortcuts. It's best to pick the recommended shortcuts, as it will give us a more unified experience using Rectangle. As we've discussed before, it's important to learn the keyboard shortcuts to any application that we use all the time. The time savings that can be made by not switching between our keyboard and our mouse can make a huge difference in our productivity. Learning the keyboard shortcuts for Rectangle is a huge performance multiplier, because it can be applied to all of the applications we use every day. To that end, we're going to discuss how you can use the mouse features of Rectangle, but also what the keyboard shortcuts are to perform the same action. Most of the shortcuts for Rectangle are Control plus Option plus something, but to get a reference of what the shortcuts are, we can click on the Rectangle icon in the menu bar. Looking at this list can be a little overwhelming, but we'll go through some of the options now to help you. The most useful feature of Rectangle, for those of us who have multiple monitors, is the ability to move a window to a different monitor by using keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts Control, Option, Command, and Right Arrow, and Control, Option, Command, and Left Arrow move a window to the next or previous monitors. Rectangle supports dragging our cursor to a specific hotspot on our screen and having it then snap the window into a position of the display. We'll go over some of the more common options for how we might want to organize our windows and provide both the keyboard shortcuts and the position of the cursor to get the windows into those spots. The snap positions are fairly logical, so it shouldn't take too much effort to figure them out, even if we don't memorize them. The nice thing about the snapping feature is that it highlights where the window will go when we let go of it so we won't be surprised. A lot of the time, as we're using an application, we want it to take up as much of the screen as possible so we can maximize the viewable information. To use Rectangle to maximize our window, we can drag it to the top center of our screen. We can also use the keyboard shortcut, Control, Option, and Enter. This is one of the keyboard shortcuts we find ourselves using a lot, so it's worth learning. Creating two half-width or half height windows 
can be beneficial when we want to compare data in two different applications, or we want to reference something in one window while typing in another. Rectangle allows us to easily put one window on each half of the display, both vertically and horizontally. To move our window to the left or right half of the screen, we can move it to the left or the right center of our monitor. To move our window to the top or bottom half of the screen, we can move it to the top or the bottom of the left or right hand sides of our monitor. The keyboard shortcuts for these actions are Control plus Option plus one of the directional arrows. The arrow will determine which half of the screen to position the window. Rectangle supports splitting our windows into thirds across our screen. This can be done by dragging the window to the bottom of the screen so that it snaps into position. Rectangle breaks the screen into a first, center, and last third, moving left to right. The keyboard shortcuts for this are Control Option D, Control Option F, and Control Option G to move the window into the first, center, and last thirds, respectively. Rectangle also allows us to position a window into the first two-thirds and the last two-thirds. This can be done by dragging our window into the first third or last third of the screen and then dragging the window into the center third. The keyboard shortcuts for this are Control Option E and Control Option T. The final window positioning feature with hotspot support we're going to discuss is moving our windows into the four quadrants of the screen. This can be done by moving the window into the corner of the screen that we want it positioned in. The keyboard shortcuts for this feature are Control Option U, Control Option I, Control Option J, and Control Option K for the upper left, upper right, lower right, and lower left respectively. U, I, J, and K form a little square in our keyboard if that's helpful. There are some other features that Rectangle has that can be used to manage the size of our screens that we would feel negligent not mentioning, even if they don't fit into a normal workday. These features don't have a snap location, but they do have a keyboard shortcut, so we'll go over them quickly. If we accidentally manipulate our window with rectangle, we can use the keyboard shortcut Control, Option, and Delete to restore the window to its previous state. To center a window on the display, we can use Control, Option, and C. A window can be made smaller or larger using the keyboard shortcuts Control Option Minus or Control Option Plus, respectively. Rectangle can be a huge boost to our performance with or without the keyboard shortcuts. Thankfully, the keyboard shortcuts are easy to learn if we remember most of them start out with Control and Option. Thank you for watching our video. If you want to be alerted when we post new content, Make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell button below so you don't miss anything. If you have questions related to the PHP ecosystem you would like us to answer in future videos, please ask them in the comments below.